How's it going everyone, Kanan and Stager here, welcome back to another unboxing. Uh, today is the final unboxing for the Resident Evil trading card game. It is the Mercenaries expansion set, yeah, sadly this was the last one and uh, yeah, just a real bummer, but uh, I think I said in the previous video that how much content do you have to work with until, you know, it runs dry, so they did well to really sort of, you know, release so many of these expansion sets and I've got them all now which I'm really happy with. Let's get opening. I don't think there's any special unique cards in this set that I need. For like, you know, the bug I've been saying so many times now. You know, set games in only certain games. Like, set games in certain games. Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful. So, like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, basically. Oh, this one's a different texture. It's got like a sort of Beverly sort of bumpy and here we go I do like the box it's really nice that wasn't me I swear I swear on my life it wasn't me who tooted Okie doke, let's go through the book like always, you know, rough. <laughs> I think it's, it's it's just its own game, but I believe you can still use the cards in like just, you know, games that you don't have to do mercenaries on. Okie dokie. Oh, there's five in this one. Alright, let's do this one. I think this is the the dividers, yeah. I think there was an online version of this game, which I think would have been great to sort of learn. Uh, they discontinued it. Rebecca and Barry. I don't really see them. I don't think we've ever seen them two sort of really together and acknowledge each other. Like I said, I wish we can get a game where all the characters meet up in one room. A bit like Resident Evil 6, where we finally saw Leon and Chris finally sort of encounter each other. I mean, I don't think we've ever seen Jill and Claire acknowledge each other, like, in the games or at any point. I just finished one of the books, I think it's Underworld. Uh, so, Leon, Rebecca, Claire, and... Some other members of Stars, one of uh, Barry's, like one of Barry's good friends, all infiltrate this base. But at the end of the book, it just it was just them escaping. But there was no like, uh, how would I put it? You know, ending where it's like, oh, they all meet up, and it's like, oh, good to meet you finally, blah blah blah. See, it's really. Weird. I think Rebecca's had the most books. <laughs> If I can, you know, think of it now, you've got Resident Evil, which she makes an appearance, but she's not really a main character, and then there's the, oh, I always forget the name, it's basically centred, like, she's the main character, they infiltrate one of the bases and all that stuff, with their other members of stars, and then she appears in the one with Leon and Claire, and then I think Resident Evil Zero, they did a book on the same series, so yeah, she's had, she's been in... Most of them, I think. Mind you, it was good to see her in the CGI movie, the latest one. I forget, uh, Redemption or something. It was there, uh, Chris, Leon, and Rebecca. And it was good to see them sort of, you know, back together. 
when she was just a rookie. Um, let's do this one. Alright, it's got ammo cards. Alrighty, we got skills now. Medic. Is this sense around central centered around the Mercenaries 3D game on the 3DS? I played it. Not too bad. Not my kind of Resident Evil thing though, I was never really big on the mercenaries. Alright, we got some infected. So we got a town magini. Woo! <laughs> oh god, that always made me laugh. This sounds like it's like you'd be just doing something then in the distance. Woo! A chicken? Don't do it. Don't kill the chicken. I'm ready for the next Resident Evil game. I've absolutely polished off Resident Evil 2 to a point that you know, I don't want to play it anymore because I've done everything. And Resident Evil 1 because I just did a episode of Kane Talks Games and that was the second episode. So yeah, I've unlocked everything on that and 100 percent it again. That is really cool. It's almost like a novel cover, I and mean, it probably is. So I wouldn't mind another Dark Side Chronicles game, or oh, Umbrella Chronicle. Oh, I forget what you'd even call that series. You know, on rail shooters. I wouldn't mind. I think it'd be really cool. Um, do the actions. Now, just give me a minute. I'm just stretching my back. Yeah, 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 because I'm leaning. It's just, yeah, you know, get a stretch. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare. <laughs> Eat that. And then just ammo. I mean, it's bloody clever how they've done this game. It's just so awesome. Uh, I'll save the characters for last, eh? Got a big man machine, chainsaw machine. Now we got a lost Illuminatus, JJ, Los Ganados, female, Poochie, <laughs> a jewel, Mondeumi, Mondeumi, venomous snake. Giant crocodile? Oh, is that from Resident Evil 5? I was going to say. Holy shit. That part was probably the scariest part in that game, especially when you're trying to get an S rank, because I don't think you're allowed to die. Oh, man. Just running through that water and seeing and waiting for them to pop out. Just, oh. 
That was probably my favorite bit in the whole game. Like, scariness-wise. Resident Evil 4 would have to be encountering the Regenerators for the first time. And when you return to the village and it's night time. Okie dokie, last one, and we are done for the Resident Evil trading card game set. Oh really, why is this one different? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think it got punched properly, that's why. Oh, need my knife. Oh, got it. Alrighty, we got normal drag drag drag. Oh my god, I did it again. Fucking hell. Jack Krauser. Hunk. Claire Redfield. I don't think we have Claire Redfield as a standard character. Uh, unless that's Code Veronica's version. Chris Redfield, Resident Evil 5. Jill Valentine, Resident Evil 5. I actually like that outfit for Jill. Albert Wesker. Rebecca Chambers. I don't think we have her as a card. I'm not too sure. And Barry. Custom pump. Custom full ball machine. Custom lightning hawk. Bold action. The hunting bow. Oh god, I love that in mercenaries. In a uh, Resident Evil 4. Custom standard sire. I feel like we just got that one. Alrighty, that is it. Oh man. That was actually really fun to unbox, and now I can't wait to go through them all and get them all sleeved up. I might actually do that. As soon as I finish this, I'll get TV going and just have that running in the background. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun when we finally get a game going. Uh, just the one thing, I'm sure one was supposed to get a placemat. Because I've seen people play it, and they've got a trading card game of Resident Evil, a placemat. But yeah, I didn't get any, so I'll just have to make do with what I got. Or oh, I can make my own. Actually, that's a good idea. I could always make my own. That's how I made this one. <laughs> this was actually just a trial run, and I haven't stopped using it since. It's just my YouTube. Hang on. Yeah, it's just my YouTube ban. Oh, I can't get the whole thing in. Hang on. We'll clear up. Got to do it anyway. Anyway, so, yeah, because I wanted to test this website, and they did a really good job. So, you know, it's just my YouTube banner because I needed something, you know, to test it with, and yeah, really good quality, and I just haven't really gotten to getting another one, because uh, it's pretty pricey, I think I paid about $60 in the end, so if I want to make something, I want to you know, make a really, you know, awesome one, you know, this one was just slapped to get, you could, I mean, I only got that bit done, because, you know, my YouTube banner, so yeah, I didn't really have anything to sort of have on the whole thing. But I might try and go with a brighter one next time. Because the camera, you know, is focusing down and it goes dark, if you know what I mean. So, uh, I'm excited. I might try get a new one coming up. But I'm happy with this one for now. It's got my, you know, all my favourite, you know, people from my favourite things. You know, you got Yugo from Bloody Raw, Kane from WWE, Blood Rain, Crash Bandicoot, Solid Snake, Sub-Zero, Lara Croft, the lovely Lara Croft. Then you got uh, the guys from Streets of Rage. I can never remember their bloody names except for Blaze. <laughs> Punisher, Knuckles, Jill Valentine, Barrett. I completely forgot who that was then. Holy shit. I was thinking of um, Bloody Streets of Rage for some reason. Uh, anyway, I've been trolling off. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I was really happy to do you know, the whole set of the Resident Evil trading card game. And, yeah, can't wait to get a game going. Alrighty, see you all later.